for today's cup of coffee. I just got finished watching the movie Halloween with youngest kid. And it's hard to believe. He had seen snippets of it. I watch it frequently. Well, not like frequently, but uh, usually once a year. And got to ask him, I'm like, have you never watched the actual full movie? And he's like, no. And I'm like, how could you have lived here for 24 years and not seen that? And he actually enjoyed it. And there was a lot to unpack within that movie. If you haven't seen it, I urge you. And we're talking about the original movie. I think it was from 78. And just phenomenal. It did start a lot of these slasher movies, which I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the slasher movies. I'm really not. But this one was well done. Uh, the original. It wasn't overdone. And it was new back during that time period. And the storyline, a little bit of a spoiler on this, if you haven't seen the original one, was that a six-year-old had uh, he killed his 15-year-old sister. And the whole concept that a child that young could be evil. And during the 70s, you had some really strange movies that came out. We've talked about this from time to time. You had like Rosemary's Baby. You had The Exorcist. You had um, The Omen which the omen is still, to me, one of the most chilling ones. And this concept of evil kids. And I don't, something, some of that had been alluded to in movies prior to this period of time, but it was very much solidified during the 70s. Not sure why. And I think part of that had to do with the time period. And when they do these remakes and all this bunch of stuff, they, they're never going to be able to do the movies in the same way. They shouldn't even try. They should make their own movies. Because that was a period of time. And you can try to recreate it. As, you know, Stranger, Th Stranger Things did an excellent job of recreating the feel of the 80s. But the world has changed. It has changed drastically. And, and you can't, it, it was the whole thing about these movies. And maybe that's why you've got some of these people that are younger that are trying to recreate that horror and they want to go back and put it in today's frame. No, don't do that. Make your own stories. There's plenty of stories out there waiting to be told. So you don't have to go back and try to improve or they never improve on what was. They never do it. But it's interesting how much, not the not just the movie Halloween, but Halloween as a celebration, because we're coming down into the finish line on, uh, on this for 2023, and how things have changed. And it's like the previous night I had watched uh, Halloween is Grinch Night with Youngest Kid, and that was also from the 70s. That one, everybody knows as far as the Grinch and as far as the Christmas and all that stuff, but not that many people have ever heard as far as uh, Halloween is Grinch Night. It's good. It's like a bad acid trip <laughs> as far as some of the artwork. Very heavily Dolly inspired on, on some of the work. But it was really good. And even the commercials from that period of time, which depicted, you know, Halloween and how it was celebrated and how uh, America was during that period of time and how it is today. Now that is scary. And it's like things in a lot of ways were much, it was much simpler and I was hoping that kid would sit and have a discussion. He's just not feeling well. That happens from time to time. His take on things. Because I have a basis of comparison. He doesn't. You know, he there's no way that he can. He wasn't there in the 70s. He wasn't there in the 80s. He was born in 99. 
and how complicated the world has gotten for these kids. Truly, truly complicated, including Halloween, because there was something about uh, these actors or whatever. I thought those strikes and everything was over, but apparently not. <laughs> that they had the union had sent out some kind of memo to urge people not to dress as the characters that of of the whatever that was striking. So this control issue, even as far as how Halloween is celebrated, if Halloween is celebrated, you've got to do it this way, you can't do this, or you can't do that, and that's been going on for a while, and it has always pissed me off. It's like, if you want to do Halloween, do Halloween. If you don't want to do Halloween, then don't do Halloween, but don't feel like you have to have the control to tell somebody else what to do and what not to do. And it's like, if people can maintain control of themselves, okay, they've, they've got their hands full right there. And so within this, having control, and that is, a, that is why horror movies are needed. Because the audience doesn't have control of the storyline or what the director or producer's visions are, but they sure as hell have control of a remote if it's too intense, pause it. If it's too whatever, if you're in a theater, if you can still afford to go to a theater, then walk out if it's bad. But as far as these people, oh, you can do this and you can't do that and you should do this and you shouldn't do that. Like I said, that is the stuff for me that is really, really scary. And so we have come fully into Scorpio season and Scorpios have got some great qualities now they either like you or they don't but also within that as far as deception misdirection manipulation things like that that's the dark side of the sign of Scorpio so Scorpios don't think that I'm slamming y'all because one of our beloved Scorpios, BB, on the day that this cup is released, it will be her birthday. And so that's a wonderful thing to celebrate that intellect that comes with Scorpio also. She's a smart kid. She really is. And she knows I can talk to her about Scorpios and she's like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> But as far as these kids that have not had a basis of comparison and to try to help them through these difficult times, those of us that are older, if they will listen, and this is a matter of try to lead by example, because there's really some scary shit out there. There's a lot of scary stories out there. We don't know what truth is and what isn't, so... Control the environment that you can. And again, laugh in the face of fear. If it's a matter of introducing somebody that's old enough to the original Halloween movie or some of these other ones, sit and discuss them. That's something that we do quite frequently here. We had, uh, BB was up here over the weekend and we watched um, The Pope's Exorcist. And that was a fascinating movie. None of us had seen that one before. And to be able to pause it and discuss different issues, different points that were brought up during the movie. And that's just how our family does. You know, it doesn't always have to be. You make it work for you and your family. But that's what we do. That's how we get more enjoyment out of it. We don't do that with every movie. It's not sitting there, you know, watching for five minutes and then discussing for 15. But that one needed that. That was how, how we enjoyed it. So over the next few days of spooky season, which for some of us lasts all year long, and there's reasons why. <laughs> it's like on Halloween night, that's, that's the culmination and then we start planning for next year. Actually, I start going to the stores after that and going, oh, okay, what, what's, what bargains? Is there anything left? What bargains can I find? So those of you that are older 
and, and that the comparison is kind of crazy that the kids can't go door to door or usually can't go door to door now because there's so much, um, you know, that they're having to do the trunk or treat. And then there's this that is a possibility and there's that that's a possibility. Check and make sure that things are stories that you may hear. It's like the candy thing has been going around forever. But because there is so much other crazy out there, everybody, it's like, you don't want it to be your kid. You know, you don't want it to be anybody's kid. So that's why they're doing the trunk or treat. You know, back in the 70s, it was all about the possibility that somebody had put something dangerous in the candy and stuff. And now today with the fentanyl and all this other stuff, it's crazy. It really is scary. I'm glad I don't have small children, you know, because that would, you know, for those of you who are parents of small children, just keep your head on a swivel. And it's like you don't want those children to grow up in fear, true fear. Teach them how to deal with fear. Teach them how to be safe, how to keep themselves safe, how to not be a victim, how to have situational awareness. Train them. And I told kid, I said, as bad as it seems right now, now we just, people kind of became complacent because we had a pretty good run of a period of time when really bad shit was not necessarily happening. There's always been wars. There's always been people that do evil things. So it's not like it's new. It's just been sort of, I don't know, has it, has it been brought home to us? Has it been like Michael Myers the night he came home? I don't know. This is something we need to think about and we need to pray about. But as far as Ali Sather, watch the horror movies. Make popcorn balls. If you've got other homemade treats that you can share with your family, if it's making cookies, if it's carving a pumpkin... I swear to you, if I can find a turnip big enough, I am going to, Lord willing, I'm going to carve a damn turnip this year. I'm going to go old school. Yeah, totally, completely. Yeah, make fun of fear. Be aware, you know. Don't buy into the bullshit because the beast feeds on fear I understand as far as making Halloween spooky again. I get that. I'm I'm a huge cheerleader for that. You know. And maybe that's the reason they're trying to make everything spooky cute. Because they don't want to deal with it. I, doesn't You can deny reality. That doesn't stop it from happening at all. In fact, it makes it worse. There's people that are living their lives... Uh, make believe. That's kind of scary. Yeah, it's we are in such an interesting time right now, folks. A time like no other. And you get the same physiological responses from anxiety as you do excitement. Uh, it's just a matter of re refocusing, reframing the thoughts about the situation. So, yeah. Take a step back. Let, let me know what your favorite spooky movies are. Let me uh, know what your favorite Halloween costumes were or still are. What are some of your prized memories and traditions? Could be within your family that you do during spooky season. And how do you plan on making fun of fear during this period of time? If you've had experiences with the paranormal or supernatural, encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, you can send me an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com, and that'll be in the description box. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, ahoy to new pirates on our little haunted ghost ship pirate radio station with a mile and a half radius. <laughs> like, share, comment, subscribe. Know that you're loved. That is something that, you know, 
every day. Know that, that somebody cares that you're on this planet. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Bye.